The film opens with a bizarre and shocking premise, Adolf Hitler, played by Oliver Masucci, wakes up in a vacant lot in Berlin in 2014, having inexplicably time-traveled from 1945. Disoriented and confused, Hitler struggles to make sense of the new world he finds himself in. He is dressed in his full Nazi uniform and quickly attracts the attention of passers-by, who assume he is a performer or a comedian due to his authentic appearance and mannerisms. As Hitler wanders through Berlin, he is perplexed by the technological advancements and the completely changed socio-political landscape of Germany. He encounters various people, many of whom laugh off his presence as a joke, finding his accurate impersonation amusing and entertaining. Some people even take selfies with him, further bewildering him. One of these encounters is with Fabian Sawatsky, played by Fabian Bush, a fired television producer who sees Hitler as his ticket back into the television industry. Fabian begins filming Hitler, initially with the intention of producing a comedic piece. However, as he spends more time with Hitler, he starts to realize that the man he is filming might actually be the real Adolf Hitler. The duo embarks on a journey across Germany, with Fabian recording Hitler's reactions to modern society. These segments are a blend of scripted and unscripted real-life interactions with German citizens, showcasing a wide range of reactions to Hitler's presence. Some people are offended or shocked, while others find humor in his outdated views and anachronistic speeches. As the film progresses, Hitler becomes a media sensation. His rants on various issues, including his views on modern Germany and his criticism of contemporary politics and culture, are mistaken for satirical comedy. He gains a significant following and becomes a popular figure on television, social media, and even in political circles. Meanwhile, Sawatsky becomes increasingly uncomfortable with the situation, especially as he begins to suspect that this man might genuinely be Hitler and not an impersonator. His concerns grow as he witnesses Hitler's influence expanding, with some people starting to take his rhetoric seriously. As the film progresses, the satirical nature of Hitler's resurgence in modern society becomes increasingly apparent. His newfound popularity in the media and among the people is a disturbing commentary on contemporary culture and the dangerous allure of charismatic extremism. Fabian, who initially viewed Hitler as a means to revive his career, starts grappling with the moral implications of his project. He becomes conflicted, torn between the success he's enjoying and the growing realization that he is inadvertently aiding the resurgence of a dangerous ideology. Throughout the film, Hitler interacts with real people across Germany, and these interactions are largely unscripted. Many of these encounters reveal alarming truths about contemporary society, including latent xenophobia, dissatisfaction with the political system, and the seductive power of populist rhetoric. The film uses these interactions to satirize and critique modern German society and the media landscape. The climax of the film comes when Fabian, increasingly disturbed by the monster he has helped to recreate, decides to take action. He plans to expose Hitler to the world and reveal his true identity. However, his plan backfires when Hitler, ever the manipulator, turns the situation to his advantage. In a chilling monologue, Hitler declares that he is indeed the real Hitler and expresses his satisfaction with the state of modern society, proclaiming it ripe for his renewed leadership. The film ends on a somber and ambiguous note. Hitler is seen looking out over a contemporary Berlin, musing about his future plans. The final scenes imply that Hitler is poised to regain power, taking advantage of the media, political discontent, and societal divisions. The film leaves the audience with a disturbing reminder of the enduring appeal of demagoguery and the importance of vigilance in the face of extremism. Look Who's Back concludes as a darkly comedic yet profoundly unsettling satire. It is a commentary on how history can repeat itself if society remains complacent or ignorant. The film blurs the lines between reality and fiction, forcing viewers to confront uncomfortable truths about the modern world and the cyclical nature of history.